Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, just quickly looking here at um, a Saturn RGB lead. This is brand new from eBay. And um, I, I, initially, I took the back off here just to look, and yes, wired up. It looks like it's wired up correctly, although the choice of the colours of the wires used there I don't sort of logically correct. But I can see this, uh, you know, connections there going to RGB, and uh, it looks like the is it pin 8 and pin 16 there so they should be via a resistor um, so anyway I connected this up and I thought yeah it looks alright but it looks it looks just the same as my composite lead so anyway I did a bit more experimentation tried a few more games and then suddenly it dawned on me you can, if I switch the thing off and on you can see the TV gives an indication of whether it's on composite or whether it's on RGB so I did that and it says it's on CVMS I think or CVBS or something and I thought I'm sure that's composite so I switched on the um, MVS and that comes up saying RGB, so clearly this lead is not working as an RGB lead. Um, most people wouldn't notice, to be honest. It's one of these, you could buy these off eBay now and you, you're not going to notice. Uh, I'm interested to just work out what's wrong with this. I'll just show you now on the TV. Right, so the lead's connected, the sound's now switched on. CVBS, that's composite. Well, it's looking wired all right, if I'm completely honest. Um, you'll notice there's, um, you can see this, you've got the composite sync in coming in here and these look how dull these connections are they're really grey I'm going to resolve these anyway but you've got a grey wire there and uh, I was wondering where the hell that was going I think it's the it's a ground it's connected to the black over there um, which is also a ground I think I need to double check that um, but the red green blue is correct the composite uh, is going to the correct pin there um, and I've also ch checked you know connectivity both ends here I've checked on the Saturn connected there and they're all wired up correctly um, and then you've got the plus five coming into this pin here which is I think two four six eight and then across this 75 ohm resistor to eight twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen which also I think is correct uh, is that it's going to the wrong pin I think I think that must be the one before two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen now uh, yeah that is correct Yeah, that is correct. But one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out this resistor for 150 ohm resistor. I'm just wondering if that's too small. Um, I don't see how. I don't see how that would affect it. But I can't see anything else other than the fact it's missing grounds. You know, there should be a ground, common grounds joined upon all the different colours and things there. I can't see what else would be causing that. Um, so yeah, I'll swap out the resistor and retry it. Well, that was all it was. It was that resistor. Changed it for 150 ohm resistor. RGB. So there we go. Uh, it's worth checking. Buy one of these cables here off eBay. And I'll post, that I can tell that's sharp already. I'll post um, the exact seller of this just so that you can tell if you get one of these. Because they are cheap and it's worth buying one from the seller. I'm not going to disrespect the seller here. Um, and clearly he's perhaps not aware of this. And I suspect certain TVs you probably find these work okay, these cables. Um, certainly CRTs, but I mean that, that's just mega clear now. There was rippling, you know, like you get um, typically with composite um, over the different colours and things there. Uh, like that blue, you know, the blue was not a solid blue like it is now. Um, not sure what's going on here. That's way sharper. Can't believe how much better that is. I noticed it um, big time actually in Donpachi. It was really, really noticeable on Donpachi. Um, but even just playing this game a few minutes ago, I noticed how bad it was. Yeah, that's certainly fixed now. There's a huge difference. There's a lot to be said for RGB versus composite. There really is. I'll show you the difference actually, just side by side. Um, if you just look at the screen now, I'll point out some of the bits where it's most visible. If you look at the uh, blue text on the green bars at the top, up here, um, I'll just quickly cut to an edited version here with the composite on. This is with composite. Can you see it shimmering? 
you get like shimmering on the blue text and stuff there. It's very, and even on there, it's very subtle. And on there, hopefully, you'll be able to see the difference. But certainly, when the game starts now, um, you certainly should be able to see on that on those bars at the top where the text is. Um, I was just going to edit this just to show you just that little bit, but I figure you may as well see some of the loading stuff as well. You might be able to see some of the differences there because this is composite now. Right? Just to be clear, this is composite, so I'm expecting this to be pretty shimmery. Can't really tell on that. Skip that. Can you see here? You get this like ripple effect coming down, whereas before it was dead constant. I don't know whether that's going to come out on the camera, but certainly to naked eye here, that's and again there is like a little shimmering sort of stuff going on. Start the game, and on there as well. You know, all of these blues and things you get like. Uh, and, and even on the edges of the yellows, can you see it's like a shimmering going on? You don't get that with the RGB. Yeah, it's really blurry as well, that's the other thing up there. So if you just look up top left when it loads. Yeah, can you see here? Look at the shimmering going on on the, on the blues here, and on where the edges of the yellows join the blues. Can't pause that unfortunately, but yeah, if I just zoom in, hopefully you'll be able to see that shimmering. See that shimmering there, at the top? Yeah, that's not visible on RGB at all. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.